Hey guys, Stealth here. This is Fractured Space. What we're looking at is the Fractured Space gameplay as it is on November 21st, 2014. As you can see, I'm getting ready to launch the game. And this gives me a bit of time to actually explain what the hell is going on. Because if you haven't seen this thing before, it's a little bit confusing. On the top left side of the screen, you're going to see a circle. And slightly above that circle is a diamond shape. This means that at current I'm a tier 0 ship and as the game progresses and as we capture more of the map you're going to see that this turns into tier 1. The ship's going to get upgraded. You don't have to do anything about this, you just have to make sure that you capture terrain. So you capture some of those bases. Another thing that you see there is um, the red diamonds and the blue diamonds. This is the income and the more income you get, the more you upgrade your ships. So that's how that works. Now to make sure that you get those diamonds, you capture terrain. I cannot show you right now because we're still waiting in the lobby for players to join. But joining or getting um, materials, getting crystals is pretty easy. You just have to capture some of the bases and the income is going to be automatic. But of course there will be other people, other players who are contending over these areas. So you're going to have to fight them and make sure that you capture the base so you can upgrade your ship and not them. Bottom left side is the chat window. That's easy. There's not a lot to explain there. Um, I found that if you press enter you're going to be chatting to your own team. If you press shift enter you're going to be um, talking to everyone. So you can switch from chatting to in team to everyone by using shift enter. Um, in the top side of the screen where it says A and then some uh, 1094 or 84, I'm not sure, nav slash S. I think that in later stages that might be the compass, but for now it's dead. You can see that on the left side of my HUD, right in the middle, it says 8000. And this is the current health of my ship. So this means that right now I have 8000 hit points. 100 at the top of the left side, so um, I cannot get my cursor onto it of course, but you got the 8000 and then a little top to the right you got 100. That is the amount of weapons that is firing at the enemy, or at least that's what I believe at this stage. The top right, um, I'm not sure. I haven't been able to figure that out yet. On the right side it just says zero, and again been able to Commence figure that out yet. Now the game has started and this is where the minimap gets interesting. You can see at the bottom right side is the minimap. Now it's not your regular minimap, but um, it's a map which has currently five sectors. E, B, so I'm going to call the ones where you see B2 and B1 a sector. You got A1 and A2 as one sector, C in the middle is a sector and A is our main base. So this means that right now I am in A. You can see this by my white um, diamond shape on the minimap. And this means that I am currently in sector A1, moving towards one of those smaller circles. And those smaller circles correspond with these bases. These are, um, I'm not sure what you call them, gas factories or refineries or miners, whatever. Whatever they do, they capture where you, they can be captured. And you see that on the right side, AM1 is filling up. And that is what I'm capturing right now. The more ships you have in one of these zones, the better. Because the faster the cap will be. Now you can see that we captured one of these bases and it turned blue on the minimap. So that is something that we have now under our control. And as you can see on the top left side of the screen, we now have some income. We now have 60 points. Over here I can see an enemy ship and I do want to get that guy. <coughs> Unfortunately he's behind that shield. That is something you cannot shoot through yet. So we've captured AM2 as well. Now it's time to start moving up. The middle uh, bottom of the HUD so the center mid, you got the action units, or the action keys, if you will. So I got one, which is cloak. And cloaking is something that the assassin does very well. If 
I'm hit one, my ship is not invisible to the enemy unless they have a special ship which can do that. Now I can do a lot of damage uh, from a surprising area. So this is something that I can do uh, using that club. I can also uh, blink to a target. Um, blinking is basically jumping. As you can see, I just jumped from one position to another. There's also um, three, which is a decoy. And I can deploy a decoy right there. You can now see that that is a copy of my ship. It can be targeted by other players, but it doesn't actually cause me any damage. So it's just a decoy, making sure that I don't take the fire from the Number four is jumping home. And number five, sorry, number four is jumping to a different sector. This can also be attained by using um, the shift key. The shift key. Number five is jumping home. So right now I'm going to try and get quite a bit of damage in. Bases on the minimap, which are called B1, B2, A2, and A1, can be Recon captured. And once you're in there, in that blue bubble, which means it's mine, or my team's rather, now you see that I'm getting repairs, I'm getting my hit points back. I got a sniper coming after me next, so I'm going to cloak and deploy my decoy. And now I'm going to sneak up on this guy. As you can see, that was an extremely deadly attack because I did 5,000 points uh, damage and hit points. Upgrade available. And this is something that right now the assassin does. Really there you go. Also being sniped by someone else. So I'm going to make sure I get out of here because there is one other ship out here. There's that hostel, and there's also supposedly another friendly, but I cannot find it. Yeah, this is no longer a safe position. Now I'm going to jump into Gamma Sector. And now you can see that the time on my clock has expired. But it's better to jump away in this situation than to hang in there. Unfortunately, I still have company. We've got Unijack 15 over here. I'm trying to do some damage, but I don't think that's going to hit. Enemy attacking the base. Now the end of the game... Um, is where you capture the enemy base, and that is always the base in the north, which means it is the base which is marked on the minimap by Echo, so E. You do that by capturing the base by flying into their zone, so actually flying into the area which is their capture zone. For now I'm going to try and capture this base, so that I can get myself repaired again, because I am a little low on hit points, I've only got 2,000 left. If you die in this game, you just respawn, but you gotta be a bit uh, patient. The first time you respawn, it's fast, the second time it gets slower, and it gets slower the more you get killed. So not getting killed is definitely something you wanna do. So most of the time I found that it's easier and safer to just get away from a zone if you're not gonna be able to survive there. Get away from the encounter, stay alive, and that way you can be a better asset to your team. This because being out of uh, battle for up to 30 seconds is going to be quite detrimental to your team. Now, um, maybe you heard it, maybe I talked over it, but at some point the um, crew set upgrades available. And you can see that on the top left side of the screen... Capture success. Yeah, go away, Marie. Uh, on the top left side of the screen you got a circle, and then you got a circle with a diamond, and then a circle with two diamonds. I am now a tier 2 ship. Or a tier 1 ship, I should say. So my ship has been slightly upgraded. You don't actually see this right now. But um, I do have more hit points. And the hit point counter... Uh -oh. The hit point counter will go up. That is, if I manage to make it out alive. So we're going to cloak, deploy decoy, and making sure that we can get out here safely. The top left side of the screen says I have one uh, tier level. That means I can have more hit points, my weapons do a little bit more damage, and 
my abilities to take um, either less of a cooldown or do more damage as well. So I can cloak more often and I can make sure that uh, my cloak resets a little bit faster. The top right side of the screen is something I hadn't discussed yet, uh, but you're going to see there a one and two zeros. The one means I got one kill. As you can see, I'm holding tab now, it corresponds with one kill. The red one is deaths, so zero deaths, I haven't been killed yet. And the uh, other zero stands for assists, or assisted in killing someone else. I'm going to travel to this other <coughs> forward operating base so I can get my ship prepared. And over here, I'm getting my hit points back up so I can be another effective force on the battlefield. Because with 4,800 hit points, you don't really have a lot of options. Now, if you're taking a lot of heavy fire, and this is more of a gameplay technique, if you're taking a lot of heavy fire, you can use these kinds of shields, and I can duck behind them. Enemy, any enemy which is in front of this shield can no longer attack me. They can just attack me from the sides, or rear, or top, or bottom. That's why this ship is now exposed, but the front is no longer a problem. Also, as you, uh, or as I move my cursor over the shield, you're going to see that if I move it a little faster, those dots turn into four dots. And that's where my weapons are targeting. So if I were to fire when they are dispersed, like that, it's going to fire all over the place. Whereas if I fire at one position, and of course I am now right in front of the shield, so it's not going to be very effective. But then my targets, or my weapons, all hit the same target. Now we've captured <coughs> both B1 and B2. I can see that there are some ships over in the sea. One friendly, it seems, maybe two friendlies, and one hostile. So I'm going to intervene there, and I'm going to try and get a kill. It seems that there are two enemy ships now. We got Master Loser and a guy with only a nickname of Numbers. So let's see if we can get that guy. I'm going to try and blink to my target. Uh, no, it's still too far away. Cloaking. Deploying my decoy. And weapons. This is what the assassin ship does. You just come in from a side, which is usually a weaker side of the ship, and you do a ton of damage. Now, early on in the game, I had 8,000 hit points, and now I have 9,200, and the bar on the left of the HUD is still not full yet. So that means that I can still upgrade my ship a little bit further, or get it repaired a little bit further. And that means that I can have, I think, 10,000 hit points on this ship as it is. The top left side of the screen also says that I'm now a tier 2 ship, so I can now do a bit more damage. Didn't get him, unfortunately. But these snipers only have limited firing marks, so I can be effective against them. Deploying my cloak again, deploying my decoy. And I'm going to try to kill Master territory. They have captured this base by now. Resource-wise, on the top left side of the screen, you can see that um, 
I got 9,000 9, credits from minerals, I'm not sure what the resource is called even. And they got 3,890 at the moment. We're a tier 3 ship now, and that means that I can do a lot of damage. I just gotta make sure I'm healed up before I actually go into a battle. Um, I'm not sure what tier they are yet. You cannot see that, I believe. But for now, we're just going to try and capture this base and get our ship repaired. If you hold tap, you're going to be able to see what kind of ships we have. I myself am on <coughs> the top of the list. I'm stealth 17. I'm an assassin ship. I'm capturing. I got three kills, zero deaths, and zero assists. We got a sniper, a hunter, and a flagship on our team versus a sniper, a hunter, and another sniper. Now, snipers are long range ships. Hunters are semi short range. They're meant to counter the assassin, it seems. And flagships are ships which are really, really very good at capturing other bases. Um, I'm going to go back to the middle to C, which is called Sector Gamma, I believe. So I have no No other ships here at the moment. And you can see from the minimap, bottom right side, that there's two ships which are now moving into Echo. So they're going to try and capture the enemy base. The entire left flank, so stations B2, B1 and everything in between is now being captured by the enemy. I'm going to try to get a jump over to make sure that they don't capture all of those. You can see that um, we got two ships in their base and now in the top mid of the screen there is capturing enemy base. That's not me. That's my friendlies in Echo. And they are trying to capture the enemy base by being inside it. But by being inside their base, you make sure that you take a lot of damage. You take about a thousand or five hundred to a thousand hit points damage per second by just being in there. So it's not something you can do for very long. I'm going to try to take out one of those ships because I think that my ally... Yeah, there you go. Okay, we got one, two, two ships in here now. So long as I don't get into that red bubble, I should be okay. Okay, we got a hunter in here. That's bad for me. Someone just got lit up. There's too many of them here, so I'm just gonna get myself out of here again. Dodging some fire. Did quite a few damage, quite a bit of damage, and now I'm back at 18. So just doing a slight hit and run for 2,000 damage. Alright, I'm wait till my jump drive is back up. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's any allies coming with me to jump echo. Ports, locked in. Okay, I'm now going to uh, cloak to make sure that they cannot see me. And this is their base. It's the same base we got on Echo, or an Alpha, I should say. I'm now in Echo, and you're going to see that as I fly into it and decloak, I'm going to start to take damage. My HUD is going down on the left side, and that's my hit points. So I have to be careful and not stay in here for too long. Otherwise, I'm going to have a very, very bad day. But I am capturing the enemy base. Sorry, I'm not capturing the enemy base right now. And that is because there is another person in here. So the capture is now conflicted. Is there? And that's when you cannot actually capture it. Okay, get in. No, I'm not going away this time. I'm respawning in 20 seconds. And that means that I'm going to start back at Alpha. So back at the first sector. I'm going to have to travel my way to B2. Fly my way to B1, or sorry, uh, jump my way to B1, travel to B2, and then jump back into Echo. Now it's now 4 versus 2, so it's getting quite unequal. We're having a major advantage here. But um, I think that we definitely going to win this game. We have reached new coordinates. So let's see. Moving on to these zones. This one's captured. You can see that my ship is a little bit faster than when we started. That's because mobility has also been upgraded. So that is really helpful because it allows me to get in and behind the enemy ships faster. Enemy destroyed, good job. You can see that on the top right 
that side stuff has been uh, changed a bit. I got three kills, one death, and one assist. So that tells you that um, I don't have to actually look at this tab screen, the, scores, uh, the score chart. I can just see how many points we got, or how many points I've scored. Moving up to the second zone, although we don't really need these things anymore. So actually I'm going to go right through there, and one of those things with a big shield on it is a forward operating base where you can go th both get repaired, and from there you can jump to another sector, to Echo, uh, because from now I can only go to Gamma, which is C. So the moment I enter the influence sphere of this um, station, I suppose you could call it, I can now jump into Team 2 base. Preparing jump drive now. So, I'm in the clear. zone again. I know that there's one ship in there somewhere. You can see it on the map. Capturing the base, and immediately my health starts dropping. this game. It's only uh, 10 euros on Steam, so say $13 or £7. Pounds. Um, final thing in this video is the post-game stats. I'm not sure how this thing is made up yet. Um, 25 XP, 70 XP and 150 XP times 1.5, that might be because it's a victory. And I end up getting 368 XP. I still don't know what I can do with XP. Maybe I can unlock modules, maybe that feature isn't implemented yet, but I'll start to figure that out and make another video on you for you guys. Now, as I mentioned, I still don't have the entire game figured out, so if you have something that I overlooked, please let me know in the comments so that we can all help each other get along. And um, I hope to see you online in this game. My name is always Stealth17, so also in here. If you want to play together, just um, add me on Steam, because the game doesn't require a separate login, it just uses your Steam login. And I hope to see you online. For now, thanks for watching, good hunting, and see you next video.